அகர்வால் <laughs> or popularly called as jk is the chairman of elakrama and our president mr rohit patel to start and explain about elakrama i would first request the president elect to say a few words on elakrama show and ima followed by our mr jk and at last ended by sir rohit patel over to you sir good evening uh, it's really a pleasure to be here uh, in this wonderful city of chennai and so we had some very uh, pleasant uh, experiences this morning came in over here and met with some of the old uh, business connects so it's been really fruitful as a day as well and of course chennai is you know a wonderful place a capital city of tamil nadu the state as well and uh, very well known for its food you know right from the dosas to idli which we all crave for or and also some of the mouth watering delicacies of you know of the food that we get around over here chetina for example and all that stuff so it's really wonderful to be here on the time but coming down to uh, the reason why we are here that's um, you know the, to promote this phenomenal exhibition which is called elekrama you know it's uh, one of the largest tnd shows uh, in the world it has one of the largest participation as exhibitors you know we at tima have approximately about 1000 odd members and almost 80% of that membership participates in this show we also have a very very large uh, footfall you know almost about 100000 people come each day every day which makes it definitely one of the largest tnd shows in the world i'm very proud of that as uh, as a body at ima as members as you know being part of the power sector we are really very happy that this show is it is from india you know it matches up with the best of shows in the world like hanover in tell so many others as well shanghai show as well and also you know we're really happy about that as well this time it's being held at uh, greater noida at the iiml exhibition place which is we are having it for the third time there normally elekrama is held every once in two years but this year it's going to be held up to three years and that is because of the pandemic you know it was uh, it was impossible to have the show uh, in, as usual in two years Uh, this show this time is going to be bigger and better than the other shows in the past and uh, various reasons for that are number one that uh, the government of india and the state governments uh, have put india on path to become one of the largest economies of the world and uh, this will not be possible without investment in infrastructure of which uh, the power sector the electricity sector is an integral part so there are lots and lots of opportunities you know we are going through a huge change transition a world of opportunities coming forward and this is the place elekrama is going to be a place where all of us can showcase you know the new technologies and new opportunities and hence it's going to be really huge in that light the other reason is that the government of india uh, has you know partnered with us uh, the minister of power has given this consent to be a patron of the exhibition and the government wants to showcase their plans as well in this opportunity as well so that's another reason why it's going to be quite huge and then uh, you know india opens up uh, as a manufacturing hub of the world because uh, the world is looking to china plus one and we have a huge manufacturing base a mature base in india and uh, hence uh, there are not only opportunities in india now but there are opportunities globally as well you know so european companies uh, american companies you know middle east you know africa south asia they are all going to participate in a very big way at this exhibition they are looking to partner with us also as well and they are going to bring in a lot of their you know key large organizations small organizations as well who are looking for you know you know partnering with manufacturers over here to source from india sharing their technology via so we can get to joint ventures and such as that so these are the few reasons which you know which elekrama is going to be phenomenal and in order to build that up we at ima and at elekrama are you know hosting events like etech next uh, world utility summit rail urja in keeping with all that etech next is about technology 
you know, they're getting the best of technologies from the world and they'll be best, the leaders from that field, you know, the best in the business will be speaking, there'll be conferences, etc. over there. So a lot to take back over there. The World Utility Summit is getting the world leaders, you know, world, the, the officials from not only utilities across India, there's going to be a huge participation from there, but also from uh, from the world as well. And uh, then the railroad, you know, railways, which we are very proud of, is one of the largest railway networks in India. And it promises a lot of opportunity because there's a huge program of electrification undergoing in India as well. And we, uh, you know, from, we are typically uh, have opportunities in the T and D transmission distribution sector. But this is, you know, since power is also to be applied in that sector, so there's a huge plethora of opportunities on the railways as well. So there's a railway uh, presence over there. There'll be experts over there as well. So these are some of the few reasons we believe that this Electrama is going to be extremely huge. Uh, we encourage, you know, each one of you all to come over there. Encourage, uh, you know, the uh, the state of uh, Tamil Nadu has almost about 100 of our members. We are. We are excited that many of them have signed up and are already having their presence over there. But we also request um, you know other people to participate. Just visit over there, network. You know it's going to be absolutely revolution. It's going to be life changing, and we strongly recommend that the media helps us and promotes us as well to make this exhibition definitely a bigger success than it was because it will absolutely add value to people's life, not only in the state of Tamil Nadu but across the world. I mean across India as well. Thank you and over to my friend and chairman who's very well informed about the subject. And obviously, uh, President Imar, my friend and philosopher Rohit, actually is extremely well involved for the overall, you know, the size of the business and also the whole economy and everything as well. They will share with you more. Thanks a lot. Good afternoon, friends. Well, my yeah, and uh, Thrachik and Delight talked about the food and you come to Chennai. So my first destination today was Murugan Italy. Yeah. So I landed here, went there, had my lunch. So that is what Chennai brings to all of us all the way from North India. When we come here, we love this place. It has a different vibe altogether. And talking about the Lakrama, my friend has shared a lot of uh, insights that it is the largest TND show in the world. It is the largest standalone electrical equipment show in the world. So we are so proud as EMA, as Electrama, that the largest show in the world comes from India. And the beauty of this show is it is organized by an association which is not for profit. So it is an exhibition which is by the industry, for the industry, with the industry. So I am sitting here as chairman Electrama, my friends are sitting here as president and president elect EMA. We are all exhibitors also. So we are organizers of Electrama, we are exhibitors also, so we understand the need of the hour, the industry need, because we come from the industry and every time we add something in the Electrama to make it bigger and better, so that more and more benefit is provided to the Indian industry. That is the whole aim of Electrama. If you see the word Electrama, what, do you, what does it mean? Elect is electricity, drama is panorama, so it is the panorama of electricity and coming from the Indian power sector. So you, and just to give you the hint of what kind of opportunity we all are sitting on. So in next two decades, more than two trillion US dollars are going to be spent in the Indian power sector. Today, the per capita consumption of India is one of the lowest in the world. Our per capita consumption is all around 950 units, where US stands at 30,000 units, UK stands at 5,000 units. Imagine if this consumption of 1.3 billion people will increase, what kind of infrastructure is required by this country for electricity? And now more and more electric vehicles are coming. So imagine when our electricity will be converted from, uh, the energy of humankind will be connect, converted from oil to electricity. What kind of opportunity lies in the front of us? Sitting at Chennai, the manufacturing, the electronic manufacturing hub of India, I'm so proud to invite all of you at this panorama of electrical industry called Electrama, which happens once in two years this time because of pandemic in three years, going to happen in Greater Noida from 18th February to 22nd February. In this edition, apart from so many initiatives which we have taken, one more initiative we have taken is a startup challenge. In the startup challenge, we are doing an award event where we will select 500 startups will be shortlisted. Out of those 500 startups, 
100 will be further shortlisted and then we will award the first 12 startups and a proper uh, and they will be given space to showcase that so till today whenever we talk of a startup people think a startup means it industry but that's not true and only it cannot fulfill the gdp requirement or the employment requirement of a country of 1.3 billion people apart from it we definitely need startups in the manufacturing in the power sector to promote this startup community to give them the focal area where they can promote their products, they can showcase their products. This time we have started a startup challenge program in this Elecrama 2023, which is going to be an IE invite. But I am sitting in a state which is full of technology, the best engineers of the country, the best brains of the world has come from this place. Best of the startups of this world has come from this place. So I am sitting in a state which is full of technology. So I invite all everyone all of you to please spread this word, especially in the power sector, that a startup doesn't mean only IT, it is much beyond IT. And I invite all of you to be part of this startup challenge going to happen in the Lagrama 2023. Apart from this, I will stop here. I will ask my friend, President Ima, to talk more about the EMA as a fraternity, what all we do. So thank you very much. I once again invite you all to be part of the Lagrama 2023. At Data Noida, starting from the Thank you. Thank you, JK. And uh, a great, uh, great contacts by both Hamza and JK. Uh, uh, and uh, thanks, Prakash, for organizing this so well. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, you know, I come from uh, Bits Pirani, uh, where I did my engineering in electrical and electronics. And uh, I remember in our college days, the, uh, the biggest contingent would come from Tamil Nadu. Uh, full train would typically come from here to Pilani uh, when the term would end and you know a week going from Maharashtra we would be only a few in one bogey but uh, Tamil Nadu would always have a train coming uh, for Pilani. So very strong associations uh, with uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, you know I think uh, I'll just like to place a few facts before I start. First you know as you know India has become the fifth largest economy. In the next three to four years, we will become the third largest economy in the world. Right? That's something that we collectively are uh, very proud of. Second, uh, this year, uh, as you all know, uh, from this month, we have taken over the presidency of G20. Uh, that's uh, you know, so this year is a very important year for India in the global economic uh, and cultural uh, and political context. Third, uh, India is today the largest single synchronized grid for electricity in the world. No other country has a single synchronized grid of the size and scale that India has. Not even US, nor China. So I think we are uh, in an industry which has uh, achieved a lot in the past uh, few decades. So, you know, I think as we look at uh, the coming years, uh, this decade, I think to me this decade belongs to India. Uh, the two or three main important elements for that from our industry context is one, uh, as JK mentioned, we will see in the next 20 years our per capita consumption of electricity going up uh, from about, uh, you know, 1,200 uh, units per capita to close to eight to 10,000 which is a 7 to 8x growth in the next 20 years, right? Uh, so that's a huge amount of infrastructure that needs to get built. Second, uh, you know, India today is, uh, uh, one of our biggest import dependencies on energy. This transition that we're going to see in the next 20 years towards net zero, towards renewable energy, is a great chance for us to become energy independent. And that politically and economically is a very, very important requirement for us as a country. And hence we understand that we as an industry and we as an association in the industry have a very important role to play in making this happen. Uh, as an association, uh, you know, we roughly, uh, we represent almost 95% of the industry in the country that does anything with electricity. Uh, like JK said, we have about 1,000 members. Everyone who is in this 
space uh, is part of the industry. Uh, we do, depending on the year, uh, the industry uh, has a turnover of about 40 to 50 billion dollars. Uh, of that, 20 to 25 percent is exported. Uh, if you know, uh, I don't know whether uh, many of you know, but if you look at the last one year, uh, out of the 200 billion exports India did, the highest exports was the manufactured goods, which was 25 uh, percent. And of that 25 percent, uh, electrical industry is one of the largest contributors of exports from the country. So uh, you know, so that's just the context. Uh, hence, uh, you know, as we look at this industry, uh, for us there are three priorities. First. I think this is a decade for us to grow and be part of the global supply chains. We have historically not really pushed and gone to a potential. China has you know, far exceeded in terms of export. But this is the year, this is the decade for us to become uh, one with the global supply chains. Everyone is looking for China plus one. Uh, India's acceptance in the global supply chain will be much higher. And with the domestic base that we have, we feel we will be able to uh, bridge that gap. Second uh, is the focus required on quality, safety, and reliability. Uh, if we have to be part of the global supply chain, these three have to be done. Otherwise, we will not be able to take that opportunity. Uh, even for the domestic consumers now, uh, you know, until now it was all about do you have electricity or no. Now that we have electricity in every home, uh, the question is now: is it reliable? Is it uh, safe and is it quality energy, right? You don't want your Wi-Fi going off even for one minute uh, if the uh, electricity goes away. So that's the second big priority that we are focusing on as an association and as an industry. The third one is innovation. Uh, you know, JK spoke about uh, we are launching the first of its kind uh, startup challenge uh, called Electraverse Spark. Uh, which is about uh, recognize, identifying and recognizing startups in the areas of clean energy, uh, e-mobility, and smart cooling systems, uh, which are all three important uh, energy requirements for the future. Uh, and we will have this first edition where the winners will be announced at Alekrama. Uh, we are also going to invite a lot of the colleges and uh, universities, uh, including, for example, hopefully IIT, uh, uh, Madras will uh, join us uh, to showcase what they are doing and their students are doing in these areas. So innovation is a big area, a big priority for us. Uh, this is the first time in our history where technology in India is being developed at the same time as it is being uh, done in the rest of the world. Uh, historically, if you look at it, a lot of the technologies got developed and we brought them into India. We were quick adopters or sometimes great adopters. But this time, technology adoption will happen or development will happen in India concurrently with as it's happening in the world. And we believe that in some of the areas, we may actually be the leaders globally. So that puts us in a very different situation uh, in the global context. And hence, uh, you know, that's the third big priority for us. So uh, growing and being part of the global supply chains, uh, quality, safety, and reliability. And third, uh, to ensure and encourage innovation in the industry. These are the three priorities. Uh, like JK said, Elekrama is the show. It is the largest global show. Uh, everyone uh, in the industry is going to be there. I encourage, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, Tamil Nadu is uh, uh, one of the state, you know, if I look at Tamil Nadu, there are two things that always come to my mind from an industry perspective, is the auto industry and the electrical industry. And, uh, you know, if I look at, uh, the transition e-mobility is the biggest, one of the biggest transitions that is going to happen. And you know, you have, uh, you are in the sweet spot of both of them. Uh, so I'm sure, uh, and IT is obviously uh, something which is strong. So I look forward to, uh, we look forward to a great participation from everyone here. Uh, please do spread the word around startups, uh, youngsters who are building technology in these areas. Be there, if you have something, come and showcase. Otherwise, come and interact and see the uh, best technologies in the world being showcased at Elkrama and uh, Noida in February next year. Thank you. Uh, you want to ask any questions? Uh, uh, Hello. Uh, how, how many uh, uh, industries will uh, participate in the exhibition?
in the exhibition, we will have around 1500, 1200, uh, two 1500 exhibitors. Okay. Will be Out of which, how many exporters are foreign so companies? All these exhibitors who are participating in the company, in the exhibition, more than 50% of the exhibitors are doing export business also. But, but I think uh, we will have uh, we will have about three to four hundred exhibitors or foreign exhibitors who will be exhibiting in India uh, to showcase their products and about nine hundred to thousand who will be Indian or Indian companies who are serving both India and globally. How many from Tamil Nadu? How many? Fifty to sixty are participating from Chennai alone. Let me put it differently. I don't think there's any domestic producer who's not in Tamil Nadu. Uh, from at least, uh, <laughs> you know, Tamil Nadu and uh, grid here is one of the uh, most important grid for all of us as manufacturers. So all of us are here in Tamil Nadu. Uh, most of us, or some of us may not have manufacturing here, but all of us have uh, teams here and this uh, presence here. Can you, do you have any focus on MSME for this? So, you know, uh, as at IMA, 90% uh, uh, of our membership is MSME uh, and SMEs. Uh, and we do have lot of programs and focus around MSME. So we run MSME <coughs> clinics uh, to help uh, them, uh, MSMEs in different aspects. A uh, lot of our programs are with a view to help MSME scale up. So actually I'll just talk about two big uh, platforms uh, that are uh, I think very important. One is uh, at Elegrama we do something called uh, the reverse buyers and seller meet which is where we get, uh, we are getting about 600 to 700 <coughs> buyers from global utilities and uh, global energy or electricity uh, consumers who will come to Electrama to buy from India. And uh, in those four uh, three days at Electrama, we will set up meetings for uh, all our members to uh, have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with these buyers. So that's a platform for uh, mm -hmm. allowing uh, you know uh, them to build an export uh, angle because many of them may not be able to on their own go to all these countries and do the registration so association we have done a lot of work uh, as a collective association where we have identified which are the countries of interest we have spoken to buyers there and we are getting them here uh, to provide a platform for our MSMEs to uh, export second uh, in terms of uh, just creating platforms for MSMEs to learn about new things. At Dima, we do a lot of events to educate them on what's happening, talk to them about the opportunities that are coming up, new areas that are coming up uh, in many of these uh, new fields that are emerging. Just to add on what the President said, okay, apart from to support the MSMEs, we also have an MSME division within Dima where all the issues related to MSMEs are specifically being discussed. And in, within Electrama, as the president said, we do reverse buyer seller meet for the exporters. We also do a domestic buyer seller meet, where because they are very small companies in different parts of the country, they can't even reach all across the country. So to do that, we have domestic buyer seller meet where 500 serious buyers from all across India come under the platform of Electrama, and where we set up their meetings with the exhibitors, with the vendors there so that they get the right vendors and they get the right customers and under one platform. So we have two beautiful products to support MSME in the Legrama, RBSM for the exports, DBSM for the domestic market. See, How much Ima business is? is the only uh, association for electric industry or other industries also? So, as in the EMA is... Yeah. Yeah. No, so it's uh, electrical plus allied electronics. Uh, so anything to do with electricity, uh, including the panels, metering, uh, smart meters, uh, control systems, we represent all that. And new energies as they are coming up, for example, if you look at now, uh, solar, wind power, uh, all of them are part of what we do or our members are involved with. So, uh, think of electricity, yes. think of you. Think of you. So, how much business you are uh, expecting to gen generate from this Electrama? From Electrama, our target is business. Yeah, yeah. So in Electrama, we expect to generate inquiries more than 6 billion dollars. In the last edition, we generated inquiries of 4.5 billion dollars. And this time, we are expecting to generate the inquiries of more than 6 billion dollars. So that's what I wanted to just add that, you know, in this RBSM and DBSM, 
uh, which makes uh, Ilegrama unique is that actual business is taking place. Orders are placed over there. We actually bring the buyers and sellers globally and domestic uh, together. And which is where, you know, the MSMEs go back with a lot of orders, you know, for their own plants, for their own factories, for their own businesses, etc. That makes it very, very unique. It's not only a networking point where people get together, which is in, in itself very value-adding, but here, actual business is taking place. Have you approached the government for uh, tax exemption uh, during for the business generated from the seller drama? It is industry. So, it is so industry no. to industry. It has nothing to do with tax. Sir, uh, yeah, yeah, please, please. Uh, number one, uh, IMA, uh, India Min, but Indian Electrical and Electronic Manufacturers Association. This is 1947. This is This is an NGO, non-profit organization. This is a famous exhibition. This is the edition. This is Delhi. Iron Time or companies participate in the company. company is the company. That's why the electron is the same. exhibitions. One is the new technology, the technology is focused on the e-text. E-next. And the World Utility Summit is the same. The utility is the and the main one more program is this. This is our son. Our RBS son is this. A star show. What is it? That is a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We are going to be a world length bias. We government <laughs> In the Narathala, G20 Presidency, India in the Karachi, in the Narathala, in the Mariana activities, India electrical industry on the world level Taravana product of Urupati Pandro, Palamana, Ireland, Ireland, members of Ganga, Taravana product of Urupati Pandro. And the Mario product, Englala, Ulaka Lavala Katabudio, and the Pandabudio Nanga number one. You point us on China, Tokadich, India Urupatiala Sango. Number one hour. It is an angus fellow. With the Gadan exhibition at the room, Elari Cooper room, Matthias Sule Varanga, Mandla Savalanga, in the program of Command Bull with him, Mintur Amateur, Sentil Balaja Varan Sulikari, Man Bull with him, CMD of the Martini Bill and Rajesh Lakani Varan Sulikanga. In the program of Kelvin Patel, Pondicherry Lane, the Energy Secretary. Uh, 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 so, you can learn the Ustana Patranga, a cheerleader smurry, a lot of fun in the Melamel Pudupong, and whatever the third product for Bode, you don't know about twenty four by seven of a sort of Ella and Eregulu Mintari Lamarkun. Seven the products in the Mintari Lamarkum. As another Nella product of Pandinan Suli, a lemon cage Pandranga, central government lent the government and the English Pandranga, Ella government to state government. Ponavata Delinal and the Ministry of the Inga on the Varanga, Elame on the Grace Pandranga. In the net, the media and Ningle support Pandi, JK, Sonamari, or Buddha Sonara, and I'm a startup Kilu or Tania. I know the startup, then I am the President Rubaraka Sonare. And then a startup IT put a career. Ella manufacturing IT to the service sector. Manufacturing the core sector, Upati the main and the Upati letter support a Chenapa. So, Urpatia Sangata, other than a new technology, Varno, other investment Varno to the other way. President elect Hamsa Sarusari, Robert Sarusari, JK Saru, Moon Perme, the Yosich, or a startup challenge in Uruaki Ganga. Mudal Paris, Patrachuba. So, Pandan the company Uruaki, I will display for Solo Paranga. So, either I will Mudum or Shadrugo. I start up my Matula app, Matula, where I have to Pana with Warapo, Kuruka product for India. Nalanala product, a new technology, electrical vehicle, and Latin Varnish in town, Padin Kanga. 
technology uh, from the angle of is it a product which is ready to be scaled up it is developed it works it can be scaled up uh, around green energy so is it renewable uh, or a software which is helping uh, take uh, advantage of better scheduling or better programming uh, for uh, green, uh, green energy second is systems for uh, e-mobility and charging, fast charging, um, uh, more efficient energy storage, battery systems. Third is efficient water cooling systems. Because ACs is an important element, everyone requires cooling. Uh, we will, as a country, we will require a lot of cooling. Uh, if we use very high energy cooling, it will not work. So, uh, we are focusing on, uh, you know, uh, smart cooling uh, innovations that are there. We were, there's a jury of independent, uh, independent industry leaders, uh, about eight of them, who will judge uh, these entries and will finally shortlist the 12 uh, winners, who will then be presented, uh, uh, and the top three will be awarded at Alekrama, uh, who, uh, in conjunction with the Ministry of Power uh, in uh, India. So already you have a selection for 12 people. No, 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 no. no. We have yeah, started we the process. Launched. We just okay. launched. We expect about 400, 500 entries to come up. It's open for its uh, website is on. People can apply online. Uh, uh, we will then screen those entries and shortlist about 100 of them, which will further screen in a detailed pitch presentation, uh, from which we will finalize 12, 12. who will showcase an electrama. We will provide them. Uh, space to showcase uh, their technology at Elekrama. Twelve of them. ஆமா <laughs> இந்த மாதிரியான மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் செக்டர்லயும் வேணும் நாங்க எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் லைன்ல இருக்கிறதுனால எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் செக்டர்ல புது டெக்னாலஜி வேணும் இப்ப வேர்ல்ட நம்ம பாத்துக்கிற மூணு சேலஞ்சஸ் என்னன்னு பார்த்தோம்னா ஏர் கண்டிஷனிங் ஏர் கூலிங் சிஸ்டம் அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்ம இன்னும் இந்த இது நம்ம ரினியூவபிள் பவர் இந்த மாதிரி அப்புறம் வந்து இ மொபிலிட்டி இதெல்லாம் தான் இப்ப இருக்கிற புது சேலஞ்சஸ் ஸோ இதுல பல பேர் இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்றாங்க இதை பண்றதுக்கு நாங்க என்ன பண்றோம்னா இந்த ஒரு காம்படிஷன் அனௌன்ஸ் பண்ணி ஐநூறு பேர் என்ட்ரி பண்ணலாம் அப்படி எல்லாருக்கும் எந்தெந்த இடத்துங்கள்லாம் வந்து இந்த ஸ்டார்ட் அப்ஸ் போயிட்டு இருக்கோ அவங்க எல்லாருக்கும் நாங்கள் அனௌன்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் யார் யாரெல்லாம் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்டோ வாங்க ஐநூறு கம்பெனி வரலாம் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஐநூறை நூறாக்கி நூறை வந்து பன்னெண்டு ஆக்கி இந்த பன்னெண்டு நியூ டெக்னாலஜிஸ் இது எல்லாமே குளோபல் லெவலில் அவர் பிரசிடண்ட் ரோஹித் சார் அழகாக சொன்னார் எந்த டெக்னாலஜியை குளோபல் லெவலில் ஸ்கேல் அப் பண்ண முடியுமோ அந்த மாதிரி டெக்னாலஜி ரியல் டெக்னாலஜியாக இருக்கணும் ஜஸ்ட் பேப்பரில் மட்டும் இருக்கக்கூடாதுன்றதுக்காக அந்த பன்னெண்டு கம்பெனியை நாங்கள் எங்கள் செலவில் வர வச்சு அவங்க டிஸ்பிளே பண்ண சொல்கிறோம் அதில் வர முதல் மூணு ப்ரைஸுக்கு சிறந்த பெரிய கேஷ் ப்ரைஸாக கொடுக்குறோம் நிச்சயமாக அந்த இப்போ ஃபினான்ஷியல் செக்டர்லேருந்து பல பேர் வராங்க அவங்களும் இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க இப்படி தான் நாட்டில் நம்ம மனுஃபேக்சரிங்கில் கொண்டு வர முடியும் ஐடியில் மட்டும் போகாமல் அதுதான் பேசிக்காக ஸ்டார்ட் அப் சேனிக்க வச்சுக்கோ இது வந்து இதுதான் வந்து ஒரு கோஹினூர் வைரம் மாதிரி இந்த இந்த எலக்ட்ரமா ஷோல சார் மின் பற்றாக்குறையும் மின் தடை குறைபாடுகளுக்கெல்லாம் வந்து தரமற்ற பொருட்கள் தான் காரணம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஆமாம் கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு தரமான ப்ரோ இப்போ நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பல இடங்களில் ஒரு மின் தடை வரத்துக்கான மெயின் காரணமே ஒரு பேட் குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் ப்ராடக்ட் தான் அதை நம்ம இம்ப்ரூவ் பண்ணும்போது ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக எல்லாமே வளரும் அது பண்ணுறது மேனுஃபேக்சரர்ஸ் தானே ஸோ அதனால என்ன பண்ணுறோம் மேனுஃபேக்சரருக்குன்னு அவங்க தே அவர் பிரசிடண்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் நியூ இனிஷியேட்டிவ் அலாங் வித் பிரசிடென்ட் எலக்ட் அண்ட் ஜே கே என்ன ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருந்தாங்கன்னா குவாலிட்டி கவுன்சில் மாதிரி உருவாக்கணும் தரத்தை மேலே மேலே கொண்டு போகணுன்றதுக்காக சில பயங்கர ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் எல்லாம் நாங்கள் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இல்ல
இப்போ ரீசெண்டாக கூட எம்எஸ்எம்இ நீங்கள் கேட்டீங்க எல்ல இப்போ இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் எஸ்டேட்ஸோட டைப் பண்ணி அங்கே உள்ள ஐம்பது கம்பெனிஸை கூப்பிட்டு பெரிய பெரிய எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் பயர்ஸ் எல்என்டியை வச்சு ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராம் நடத்தணும் நாலு நாளைக்கு முன்னாடி அதில் வந்து ரெண்டு விஷயம் பேசணும் என்ன சென்னையில் எல்என்டியும் சென்னையில் இருக்குது இந்த சின்ன சின்ன எம்எஸ்எம்இ சென்னையில் இருக்காங்க ஏன் வந்து வெளியிலேருந்து வாங்கணும் இங்கேயிருந்து வாங்கலாமேன்னு சொல்லி அவங்க என்னென்னலாம் ப்ராடக்ட் இருக்குதுன்னு பார்த்துட்டு போகணும் இன்னொன்று எப்படி ஒரு உலக தரத்துக்கு ப்ராடக்ட் கொண்டு வர்றதுக்கான அட்வைஸ் கொடுக்கணும் நாங்கள் ஸோ வெறும் சேல்ஸ் மட்டும் இல்லாமல் தரத்தையும் மேம்படுத்தி குளோபல் லெவலில் கொண்டு வரணும்னு சொல்கிறோம் purchase. has to be only l1 they can always do the evaluation on the based of quality cost basis qcbs so quality the way we all want as quality of life to be better so if the quality of life has to become better the quality of products automatically has to become better so what is so the market size of this industry sir market size of electrical and electronic industry so the as i as the president also said in, initially that our membership is almost 50 billion dollars and 95% of the electrical equipments used in india are through our membership so you can easily say that market size is around 50 55 billion dollars so in the manatoda porladara reethiyana pangalippu in the manatin moolama india ku porladara reethila evlo pangalippu sir periya level la adhaavadhu naanga sonna illa rbs number sir adha kitta thatta or 10000 kodi alavukku porladara irukku naan nambara sir adoda seythu in the program kagave punjab lende or punjab singham vandirukkaru ஹர்டெக் சிம் வந்து ஒரு சிஎம்டி ஆஃப் ஹர்டெக் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ரினியூபிள் பவரில் பெரிய பிளேயர் ஆக்சுவலாக அவர் ஒரு சில வார்த்தைகள் உங்கள் சார்பாக பேச ஆகிட்டேன் வணக்கம் சார் ப்ளீஸ் அலாவ் மீ டு ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் நம்ம தமிழ் ரொம்ப நல்லா தெரியல Uh, well, I, uh, as you have already introduced me, uh, come all the way from Punjab as a humble uh, member of EMA to stand uh, by the southern region of uh, EMA and my friend Prakash. A lot has been spoken about it, Lekrama and about EMA, but one request which I would like to make to all of you, uh, South India cannot be complete without Chennai. So it's a humble request. The media empowerment is unimaginable so i would like to pass on this request to each one of you please spread this message of lekrama 23 the more message you spread and the more it will reach the more we will uh, taste the success of lekrama and india will move forward globally thank you very much lekrama is the largest exhibition from india it's a pride for all of us so more we spread it the better it is thank you